Hi, my name is Emily. I am a faithful follower of Christ and I'm addicted to sugar, flour, and binging. And this is a quick video to show you what I'm eating right now that is so tasty. Sorry, my phone keeps getting dark. Um, so this might be my shortest video ever. I don't know. Um, I was not looking forward to eating this because I thought it was going to be gross and it's so good. I mean, I didn't think I was going to be gross, but, um, when I came in here earlier to get my lunch, I was like, oh, that, that. So here's what it is. We had some sandwich fixings and I just took lettuce, tomato, and onion and took a plate and did six ounces of lettuce, tomato, and onion. Excuse me. I'm like literally right in the middle of eating. Um, I've got food on my face. I'm belching up my Perrier water. It's so rude of me. Um, but y'all better look at this now before um, I eat it all. So lettuce, tomato, and onion, and then I put ham on top of that. So then four ounces of ham and then, and I could just cut it up real small. So it's like very layered and, um, thin, I guess. Um, and then on top of that, I put some, um, so, so that I just put that in the refrigerator like that last night. I put saran wrap on it. Then just now on top of that, I put, um, some horseradish, horseradish mustard and then some little, you all know, I let myself have two tablespoons of some kind of sauce. Um, so that I feel like I get to eat junk <laughs> along with my family. So remember a couple weeks ago when I went and got Popeye's chicken for everybody and the, we had that big bag of sauces? I just found this little sauce in my refrigerator. Mardi Gras mustard from Popeye's. I don't know. just looked interesting. Um, one of these little fast food sauces. Okay, so um, lettuce, tomato, onion, ham and then mustard, and then my one tablespoon of mayonnaise that I already had measured out last night, and salt and pepper, um, or some Cajun seasoning, I think. And here's another little tip that I'm learning. Instead of like, like you know when you make a big salad, if you're gonna put seasoning on top of the um, salad, maybe go ahead and put it on top of the vegetables, not the meat. Um, same thing with your dressing. Don't let the dressing touch your meat exactly because the meat's already good. Am I right? The, um, it's, it's like if you have chicken or ham or something on your salad and you only get one tablespoon of dressing, be sure it hits all those veggies. So I always sprinkle the vegetables, um, uh, with seasoning and, um, just to stretch that one tablespoon. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to show you pictures of this. And then also I did my six ounces of just chopped up uh, apple with cinnamon. And I always put that in the microwave for two minutes. So it's hot. Ooh, it's very warm, ready for me for like a little dessert. But here is this, um, I'm calling this a sandwich salad and I will, um, I'll add a couple pictures at the end. So anyways, basically this is not earth shattering. <laughs> um, but basically it's, uh, it'd be the, the guts of a of a sandwich. Um, and that's it. Just wanted to share. It's pretty tasty. I'm enjoying it. Um, that one tablespoon of mayonnaise did spread out pretty good. Um, also if you don't do this and I thought everybody did this, keep deli meat around your house, go to the store and get, um, four ounces of turkey, Cajun turkey, spicy turkey, sun-dried tomato turkey, ham, um, I guess stay away from some of those that are like honey ham, I don't know, but, um, um, they might be kind of triggering if they're too sweet, but, um, anyways, get you some shaved deli meat, keep it around the house, and then just add that either on top of vegetables or on top of, you know, a salad or just, um, a big hunk of it in the, in the morning, four ounces of ham, uh, one ounce of Triscuits and a banana, you know, for a quick breakfast. But, um, I always, I mean, I, I always keep deli meat around. All right. Love you guys. Happy, happy day. We'll talk soon. Okay. P.S. I want to tell you why I look like I got hit by a bus. I'm kidding. I don't look that bad, but 
whatever. I've got some little dark circles. Uh, okay, I want to tell you why. All five of my kids were supposed to go to school today, so I was on it yesterday. So excited getting everyone ready, getting their backpacks ready, getting their outfits laid out. I was on it, yes, all day long. And you went with me to that Mexican restaurant. And then I want to show you something. This is this is what this is rural Kentucky for you. Some of you up north, this is gonna surprise you. They did not have school today. Oh no, they didn't. I thought five kids were going to school. Zero kids went to school because we got a snow day. Let me show you our snow day. I'm looking out there. There is zero snowflakes on the ground at this point because they all melted. Um, it is. It would be mind-boggling to you guys up north here in the great United States um, or other cold places on the planet. I don't know. I'm going to embarrass myself if I try to talk about geography. But literally a dusting, a dusting of school, excuse me, a dusting of snow and they cancel school because of these little windy rural roads. Um, I trust that somewhere out there in this county it must be dangerous because the tiniest bit of snow and they call school. Whereas up north, I mean, there are probably probably kindergarten kids, kindergarten like four or five year old kids that would just, their parents would send them out the door with a shovel and say, it's gonna be harder, but you can get there. Um, like you probably have to get feet of snow for it to be canceled. Not us. So I worked so hard yesterday and then today, I needed a nap that I took. Yay. Um, all right. I thought you guys might like to see my snow day. Happy snow day, everybody. Get out there. Get out there and play in that mud. Love you guys. Bye.